snow performance. Today we're going to look at does water methanol increase injection timing in a diesel motor and concurrently does it cause cylinder pressures to spike. So does water methanol increase injection timing in diesel motors? Does it cause cylinder pressures to spike? Not at all. This is some of the biggest misconception out there on the internet today. And we're going to look at some evidence today that proves these events just do not occur. Let's look here. This is a diesel combustion event. This is a chart from an SAE journal that illustrates cylinder pressure in relation to the piston's position in crank angle degrees during the combustion event. The first line here shows normal diesel combustion. You can see where the fuel is injected, uh, the time it takes the diesel to light, it's commonly referred to as ignition delay, and where the ignition occurs and the resulting torque curve thereafter. The blue line is where methanol is manifold fumigated. The methanol used with the boost cooler in a 10% ratio by volume to, volume to diesel while using the same conditions as a test one of the normal diesel. As you can diesel. see, ignition delay is increased due to the cooling effect of methanol. When the diesel does light, it does so in a controlled way similar to the diesel only graph. Why is this? Methanol has a cetane of 4. That makes it a very slow burning fuel in a diesel. Methanol also has an ignition temperature of 890 degrees Fahrenheit in standard conditions relative to diesel's 820 to 840 degrees Fahrenheit. That's evidenced by the fact that a diesel designed to run on methanol only requires a spark plug. This fact also means that diesel ignites first, causing the methanol to combust resulting in retarding effective injection timing. So as you can see, cylinder pressures are safe and controlled. The purple line shows the effect of injection of a 50-50 mix of methanol and water in a 20% ratio of the diesel by volume. As you can see, the increase in cylinder pressure is small and not a point of concern. But take note that this power is occurring after top dead center. So it's power that's chasing the piston down. It's safe power. It's not occurring over here. The large increase in torque right here is largely due to the steam effect of water changing state from liquid to gas. All this area after TDC equals positive torque, and that's what we're all after. So guys, thanks for the questions. Keep them coming. You can find us on the internet at www.snowperformance.net. Thank you.